Well, I'm going to have to be honest. <laughs> I was one of those really annoying children who always knew what I wanted to be. So I would say that I asked for a globe for Christmas when I was about five years old. And a year after that, it was a set of encyclopedias. And maybe when I was seven or eight, I asked for a microscope. And that's when I knew I wanted to be a microbiologist. I think a lot of people underestimate influenza. So people think, you know, it's, it's just a cold. You know, they don't realize that actually between 250,000, 500,000 people per year die of just seasonal influenza. So it's clear that this is a very important pathogen for human health. I felt like it was very important that we work towards developing a new vaccine for influenza, a universal flu vaccine. So the idea would be that this type of vaccine would generate an immune response that would protect you from all these different types of flu. So for, for the general public and people who are at high risk of severe influenza illness, uh, this would be really important because it could reduce hospitalizations. I had a lot of ideas, but unfortunately, I, at the time, I didn't have independence to work on my own ideas. After a period of time, I started to become very disillusioned, and mostly that disillusionment was the fact that I was spending years working on other people's dreams. Obviously, to establish independence, you need to start getting your own funding. Um, but that can be challenging itself because quite often they're looking at your publication record to see if you have experience in the particular topic that you're writing the grant on. But if the grant is written about something that's a completely new idea, then, you know, it's just a vicious circle. I had known about the BMA Foundation grants for probably about five years. What I really liked was that it was a really easy application process and it was the fact that you didn't have to upload your CV. So it was more that they were funding or investing in the idea. I had been in discussion with Professor Peter Palazzi, who's obviously a world-renowned influenza virologist, and he had offered that if I applied and was awarded this BMA Foundation grant, that he would match fund it so that I could train his laboratory and obviously that would be an absolutely amazing opportunity for my career development and, and my advancement in research. I had applied for so many grants and so many had been rejected that I had got to the stage where you just don't think about it, you know. I had an idea of when the outcome would be known but I just, I just acted as if, you know, I didn't get it. I think it was a Friday morning. I was actually in the lab at 7 a.m. because I used to come in from 7 to 9 in the morning before I would go to my other full-time job. I checked my emails. I had to call my friend to, to get her to read the email with me because I didn't believe what I was reading. But when, when it started to sink in, I cried. <laughs> I really did honestly cry. <laughs> because I knew that it would change my life. Um, I knew that I was going to work in one of the best labs in the world and I knew instantly what that meant in terms of my career progression and my future. I don't know how much longer I could have taken the situation of spending all my evenings and weekends working on my own ideas while working on the rest of my time on somebody else's ideas. Being awarded the BMA Foundation grant has changed my life. Um, it allows me to work on a really exciting project. So the idea of generating a universal influenza vaccine, it just has so much potential to change lives and save people's lives. I'm really glad that the BMA Foundation grants exist, um, particularly for supporting early career researchers or new investigators. Um, and I think it's really important to support novel and exciting ideas. And quite often these, these ideas are at such an early stage that they might not be successful in, in securing funding from elsewhere. But the flexibility of these BMA Foundation grants uh, really allow the BMA to invest in people, but not only people, but also invest in these really new ideas. 
So I think it's fantastic that the BMA are investing in this type of research and it's obviously really important that they continue to provide these grants to, to give doctors and researchers the opportunities to, to generate these life-changing treatments and therapies.